PCs where more parts of the Windows system has been, have been brought up and running. And this is made possible in part because of the innovation that's going on in the ARM ecosystem today. ARM SOCs in general, virtually all of the new ones support Windows system requirements. They all run in over a gigahertz. They all have hardware accelerated graphics. Um, and actually some of them, I'll just show you an extreme example of this integration. I've got this um, Qualcomm MSM 8660. This is a single CPU GPU combination that actually also has a 3G, 4G modem built into this package. So I'm looking down to see if you can see it. The entire system fits on the, if the system well, got any smaller, the logo wouldn't even fit on this chip. That's how small these things are getting. They're getting more powerful, they're getting more efficient, the cost is coming down, and they're enabling thinner, lighter form factors than ever. In fact, all of these PCs that I'm showing you here are not only capable of running the full Windows experience you just saw, they're also capable of a new mode called Always On, Always Connected. So the way you would expect from a smartphone today, these systems will be able to instantly wake, They'll be able to go on standby for a really long time with low power drain, get great battery life, but still stay syncing and connected all at the same time. So take this model, for example. This is about 13 millimeters in thickness. It's an 11.6 inch screen. Um, it's running the same Snapdragon processor I showed you at 1.2 gigahertz, and it's pretty responsive. I can touch, it has a hardware home button, so you can see how quickly it can switch between the start screen and the desktop. But we've done other hardware work, for example, on USB. So the work we've done with USB on ARM is going to enable out a lot of peripherals that you already have today to just work. So I plugged in a USB stick, it recognized that same paraglider video, and you can see that it's instantly up and running. And this video is playing quickly. It's an H.264 high definition video, but because we're using Microsoft Media Foundation, it offloads the video playback, audio, and transcoding to dedicated hardware so that the CPU can stay cool and the system can stay really responsive. I'll show you another example of some hardware support. All of these devices have a variety of sensors in them. So in this case, I've got a 720p camera. <laughs> Is that good? Uh, this camera is just one of the examples of the sensors that we're getting working at the hardware level. Uh, there are other sensors in this video, sound, location, movement, orientation, proximity. All of the sensor access is part of the new development platform. So developers using HTML and JavaScript will actually be able to write apps that take advantage of the sensor hardware. I'll talk a little bit more about that later.